Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm doing something a little different. Uh, I bought this new palette knife and the plan is to do a white base. Then I'm going to load up the palette knife with my cell activator and some swiping colours and go through the middle. Um, so I want a bit of negative space on the outside. Um, but yeah, I've never loaded a knife a palette knife to do that before so it's going to be something a little different. I'm going to use the metallic Montmartre colours and I'm going to do a two separate swipes um, with different colours so eh, we'll see how it goes. Okay I'm going to start by pouring a big puddle okay so I'm going to start by pouring a big puddle. This is uh, the Montmartre Titanium White. And I was debating, oh gee, I hope I got enough. I was debating uh, which way I should swipe. Whether I should go this way or that way. Gee, I thought I was going to have plenty of white, but. I really need to get that chart tells me how much I need. I'm going to leave a little bit. Okay. Now I do have the spinner under here today, which I haven't used either. Um, is that sitting properly? Uh, I may only just use it just to move the canvas around. I haven't decided yet. All right, let's get rid of these bubbles. So many. And it's probably because I just mixed this up. I really need to like make some bigger batches, I think. I'm going to keep doing this regularly and make life a bit easier. I'll need some big containers though probably. As I'm getting through some of my stuff I'm starting to collect some containers though so I don't have to buy them. Alright, I didn't get my head in the way then. I'm going to go this way. Let's start with my cell activator which is um, Amsterdam titanium white. Ooh. Amsterdam titanium white. And then uh, I've got Australian Floetrol in it. Oops. I just lost a bit. Lucky it's white on white. Alright, then we've got some shell. So I'm just going to put a small amount of that through. I'm going to do the greys first. Silver. I'm not really sure how much to put on. I think I better do this off of the canvas so I don't actually spill it because it's going to get uh, quite a bit on there I'd say. Okay. All right. This is fun. Okay. I'm going to need to stretch quite a bit, I would say. That looks really nice. So 
so I'm probably only going to want this much which means I'm going to have to tilt unless I swipe from this way because it's wider there and it gets more narrow so maybe I will swipe from this way that looks cool though I like that all right let's get this happening again I don't know if you can see this no not quite I just move this a bit you might be able to see what I'm doing here right. again I'm gonna go from light to dark actually don't have much of the dark this is the champagne gold and then we've got the brass and then this is the copper which there's not much of So the lacing looks great, but I don't like how light this is. So what am I going to do? I think I'm going to load up again and go through the middle with both colours. And then um, we might have to spin it to stretch that lacing out because it's gonna. this will end up coming off this will end up hopefully going to the corner hmm tricky I'm gonna use a smaller palette knife I think might go this one although ooh. tricky let's go just see what happens. You know, this is the first time doing this, so I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to see where it leads me. And this time we're going to mix up the colours though. So we've got some silver. Champagne gold, some brass, and oh, some of the gum metal grey. Okay, that's very full.
I altered my grip because I was worried I was going to dip. Dip my um, finger in and it's made this unusual part here. I'm going to try a couple of smaller swipes. We're going to try and spin this because uh, stretching I think will completely stuff it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get much more paint off of this. This corner is bugging me. Clean up 
edges. All right, before I clean up the space, I do want to send a little bit through. Okay, here it is wet and I haven't decided what I think of this yet. There's some really nice stuff going on, but I'm hoping it's actually going to dry a bit darker. So if you have a look at this lace in here, it's really pretty. It's like the lacing has an outline. And the same thing's happening up in this top corner, except with the uh, copper. So, uh, I don't think I like the way this blended down here. I think that's part of what I'm not liking. And this part here, uh, yeah, I could play with it more. But the more I play with it, the worse it seems to get. So I'm going to leave it to dry. Yeah, I think the way all the white's coming through, I think that's because of the way, the technique that I used. So it's good to know if I want this effect, what technique to use. I mean, I really do like this. Just this bit here. I love that my favorite part hmm okay I'll show you when it's dry I've got my colors ready and my brush and uh, I'm gonna try and add some stuff to this uh, I'm not very well practiced with the brush Got a couple of different ones. So I'm a bit nervous. Um, this is my learning journey, guys. So, oh, where do I start? Uh, I might start with a small brush.
my results. I'm, I'm quite happy with this, the way it turned out in the end. There's some bits that I would improve, always. <laughs> my favourite part here is this lacing, which um, looks kind of cartoony the way it's got the, the black outline. And I'm happy how the extra black went that I added. Um, I think that looks quite good. I don't like what happened here. Um, I did. I painted it in too thick, and then I've tried to go over it with the white. It's okay, but um, yeah. I like I said, I haven't had a lot of practice with the paintbrush, so something I need to practice on. The other thing is I added in some uh, of the pens and if you can see the shine, the pens seem to, uh, especially the silver, you can see it up here. Uh, let's see if we can get it to pop. Where else did I have it? That's mostly here, I think, but uh, there we go. You can see the shine. It's a little bit too defined with the pen. So, I don't know if there's, there's not really a way to get around that, I don't think. Even though it worked really, really well, it just shines so much more than the uh, the paint that's mixed with the medium and everything. But that's okay. Like I said, I, I'm three months in and I'm learning a lot. Um, so now I know how those pens work. I, I found with the black, it flowed a lot better on the brush for some reason. Um, the what's well, not actually black it's a charcoal no, gunmetal gray was it the metallic um yeah better than the the copper or the brass this is quite interesting in here too no i'm not keen on the colors the lacing worked really well it's, it's a it's a good blend and then it starts to open up with the uh, the white cells, I guess you would call them, inside the lacing. Which is quite unique. This is really different, this piece. So, it's a bit of fun. Took me a bit longer. Uh, so this video is coming out a little bit later. But that's okay. So yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.